I'm just gonna have to go ahead and re-record this video. Um, I had already recorded it, but some shit happened, so here we are again. So in this video, I am here to talk to you about henna and its great properties that it has contributed to my natural hair. So let's get right into it. The first pro of this amazing product is that it is plant-based and all natural, meaning that you don't have to really worry about whether it's going to damage, strip, or just totally mess up your hair like a lot of um, chemical dyes do um, especially when you're natural sometimes when you're natural and you play around with color it can alter and change your curls into what may even look like heat damage so you don't run the risk with henna so that's one of the pros another pro is the price the price is amazing the price is just very affordable it's not going to break your pockets whatsoever it's something that that anybody can afford so um the one that i get is this mahandi this is the current one that i'm using i use this mahandi and this is about two dollars where I go to I go to my local Indian store now that I moved I got like an Indian store like just very conveniently like right there so it's it's amazing and um, this is does it even say the ounce no it doesn't say the the ounce yes it does It's a 3.5 ounce um, and it does have a, it does have an expiration date so this one is says that it's best to use before 1018 so we have a whole new year and this is going to be gone so I'm currently using henna about the closest is like about a month sometimes I last two the three months but I don't go above three months without the application of henna it just depends on how my hair feels how I'm feeling and uh, typically it's it's a very random application on my part so uh, the only thing that I can say is that it is a part of my regimen and I'm not gonna let go of it another great benefit of henna is that it covers gray hairs so if you have gray hairs um whether it be hereditary like myself i've had gray hair since i was 14 years old i was never self-conscious about having gray hairs it was just like this is what runs in my family um so in my case i'm not using henna to cover my grays but if you are a person that's looking for um covering up your grays and just having your hair look like it's uniformed into one color um, then this will be a great addition to your healthy care regimen the thing with henna though is that it's going to give you a reddish brownish kind of color so if you want like a dark or black color you will have to mix it with indigo me personally like i said i am mostly into the properties of henna and what it can do for my hair and maintaining its health that i just really don't care so you can see it there it's just like a um it's just a a reddish brown another amazing amazing property of henna that i've been able to benefit from is shedding 
So even with the first application, you're going to have little to no shedding. Like I was so shocked, like how much my hair sheds in a week time compared to like the two or three strands that came out when I did my first henna application and it's been this way ever since. Every time that I apply henna, it's just like there's little to no shedding and I'm just like, this is alarming. So uh, obviously the less you shed, the more hair you're gonna have on your head and if you suffer from um, very fine and thin see-through hair, um, then this will be a great benefit for you. It is a great product to have around because henna mimics a deep conditioner, um, a protein deep conditioner. So um, it gives you the proteins that you need. So be very careful with um, the overuse of henna because just like anything that's overdone, it, it can quickly go from good to bad. And that's not what you want. Staying power. Hannah has such an amazing staying power as far as its benefit and as far as the color that that gets stained on the hair. Like Hannah, whatever it touches is gonna stain. So every time that I apply my henna, I make sure that I'm just wearing the same worthless t-shirt that I really don't care about. Um, and of course, for whatever reason, that's missing, which has happened many times. Um, I'll just grab another shirt that I really don't give a hoot about and just apply it because it's gonna stay. Anything that it touches, if it fell on the floor, if it went on the wall, it's going to stain. So if you notice that you've dropped a little bit of henna anywhere or if it's smeared any place on your walls, you want to wipe that down as quickly as possible because it will stain. Um, but the good thing about that is that if you're looking again to um, to just cover up your grace, it's gonna have long lasting power. It's not something that you're going to feel like this is a rinse, I have to continuously reapply to strands that I've already applied to. Um, I've noticed that even with the three months that I go without applying henna, it's still, um, there's still color there except for in the new growth obviously so um it's it's there <laughs> it is is it is definitely there and it's very evident that it's there so it's not like a rinse it's not something that over time is just going to strip and go away once it's there it is there and i think that that's one of the good things about henna now the last thing that I do want to mention is that it is, henna is antifungal. So if you're dealing with a dry or a, a dry scalp um, that produces a lot of dandruff, this is something that you may want to consider and get your hands on. It's just, it's just a fungal issue that um, if you invest your time into incorporating henna uh, in your hair care regimen, this is not something that you're gonna have to really deal with. So give it a go. I used to use the red rainbow henna, which I don't anymore, not for any particular or weird reasons, but just because I used to have to order it online. And like I said before, we've moved a few months ago, so I don't have to order any Indian stuff online anymore because I have a whole store right next door to me so <clears throat> it's just been amazing and from there um, I use this other henna and now I use like I said the Mahandi and for me it's gonna take two of these because my hair is long and you just want to make sure that you coat 
and go through uh, <clears throat> every strand of hair. So depending on your length and the density of your hair, um, you may need one or two. Me, I need two <laughs> or else not going to work out. I do have a few videos where I am showing my henna application. I will link you guys to this video and um, also how I mix my henna. Uh, I've never ever did my henna treatment without mixing it. I've never just used the powder alone. It's not something that I've been willing to uh, really risk because once you do your research, like I said, it has its pros and cons. And knowing my hair uh, is it, it's just it's too 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 harsh of a treatment for me to use it alone. If you guys take the time, educate yourself, and then uh, apply this to your hair care regimen, you will see why henna is not a hype and why it should definitely be incorporated in a hair care regimen. It has amazing, amazing properties. And again, it is plant-based, it is all natural, chemical-free, and and vegan so I absolutely love it and definitely one of my recommended products so I thank you all for watching and until next time this was Bonnie 3000